Hey guys, welcome to Will They Pair, the show where I combine two random pieces of gear together. This episode, I've got the classic Roland SH-101. And over here, I have an Ekdal moisturizer, which is a combo uh, analog filter slash spring reverb unit. And you can see the spring is actually exposed up here so you can play with your hands and get all kinds of crazy sounds. So I've got the basic sound initialized and I've got this running straight through that, nothing special. Over here you have an input section, just get your basic input gain. Next you have a voltage controlled filter and you can smoothly transition between low pass and high pass. Over here you have an LFO which you're gonna assign to two of the filter params. And finally you have an output mixer so you can control how much of the filter you want, how much of the spring reverb you want, and then you have your general output amplitude. First thing we can do is maybe experiment with the filter. So I'm gonna ignore the spring reverb for now. So if I bring up the mix of the filter, now the filter is fully activated. Basic filter sweep. Bring up the resonance. Bring up the resonance some more. And this is the max resonance. So the filter doesn't self-oscillate. It's got this really angry, dirty kind of sound. We can compare the filter sweep of the SH-101's filter. Compare it with this. Over here you have a, a mode switch so you can smoothly transition between low pass and high pass. So in high pass, this is a sweep. Resonance, 50%. All the way up. And if you bring it down to the bandpass mode. Both of these knobs can be controlled by the LFO and you have the LFO modulation amount here. Let's go over to basic controls of the LFO. You have your rate control here. Uh, you have external LFO contribution. So you have CV jacks in the back of this unit. And then you have a smooth control of the waveform from triangle to square. So you can control the rate here. It's the max. We could go from triangle and morph that to square. And of course you can dial it down to something more subtle. So now the LFO is controlling the switch between low pass, band pass, and high pass. And if you tune it right, you can sort of get these sort of semi-vocal sounds. You can hear sort of a wow-wow effect. Now let's move over to the reverb. You can hear a very subtle contribution right now. I find the reverb is really sensitive, so the sweet spot is pretty limited in the middle here. And then past that, we're in sort of extreme territory here. And it gets quite noisy, as you can hear, without playing anything with the reverb all the way up. I find roughly in this position is sort of ideal where you get minimal noise with maximal uh, sort of what you would expect from a spring reverb. 
And then, as I said, you can sort of mess around with the springs which are exposed here. And this is also kind of tricky to play. You get, it's really good for sort of um, experimental, weird clash, uh, like thunder sounds. And I've yet to find a way to sort of play with it in a more musical context because it's really sensitive, as you can hear. It sort of overpowers the sound. But it's great for if you're doing like horror film scores or something and you want these weird, creepy... So I find that with the Spring Reverb, you can create these really nice cello-ish patches uh, with a synthesizer. So if, if you get sort of a cello-ish slow attack, slow release, mainly the sawtooth oscillator, open filter, you get that almost cello bowing kind of sound, which is really nice. Uh, you can sprinkle in some vibrato here. I find the moisturizer to be a really interesting unit for sort of weird, eerie, uh, lo-fi kind of vintage effects. What's cool is that you can see these two plugs here, so you can actually replace and put your own reverb tank. So I find it really nice for if you're looking for weird effects, uh, for, like I said, for horror films or something like that. I can imagine this working with any kind of synth, uh, especially kind of pure, clean digital synths. This is a great way to add a bit of that analog dirt and noise uh, to sort of add a little more grit and character to the sound. 
All right, hopefully this was entertaining and I'll see you guys in the next one.